Community members in Blair may start to feel a little safer now that the city is adding its own first responders. News 8 Now's Cade Overton joins us in the newsroom with how it all came together. Now Blair has never had their own first responders team. They used to have a few ambulance stationed in the town, but a few years ago they lost that program. Now the Blair Preston Fire Department is filling the need that the town has been missing. Nine members of the Blair Preston Fire Department will undergo first responder training given by Western Technical College so that the town will have a certified first responders program. A first responder really is, is just what it says. You know, you're going to get on, on scene, do some assessment. You're going to relay that information to the EMTs that are on the way uh, so they're a little bit better informed of what's going on. One firefighter going through the extra training says that he's doing it because he wants what's best for the community. And when the majority of their calls are for EMT calls, it only makes sense for them to be a little more prepared. We get called to a lot of EMS calls. The majority of our calls are EMS calls, um, lift assist, whatever have you. Um, now with the EMTs being taken out and coming from Whitehall, if we are to be the first responders, we'll have more knowledge, more training, be able to help before the ambulance arrives. Right now, there are nine firefighters signed up for the training program, and once the first responder group is established and the licensing is complete, members of the public will be able to join as well. All right, thank you, Cade, reporting live in our newsroom tonight. The Blair Preston Fire Department says training is going to cost about $600 per person. And that money will come from what the fire department fundraises.